Hello, it's Jeanette with Geo Amazing Paper Crafts. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm back with another video tutorial, and today I'm going to show you how I made these cards. Aren't they beautiful? I'm going to be using a, a, more products from the Fine Art Floral Suite. And in that uh, suite of products, we have some beautiful designer series paper, but we have also some acetate uh, paper that is printed with a gorgeous floral arrangement that overlays some of our designer series paper and I've already used some of this up with these two cards but basically you'll get the 12 by 12 sheets I, I like to cut it down to 6 by 6 to store it but um, basically the it just kind of overlays really nicely and all you have to do is just put little Dots of glue, you could use your multi-purpose uh, liquid glue if you want to, or you could use the fine uh, tip glue pen, okay? And I think I used the fine tip glue pen to stick down this paper here, and that's what I'm going to be using today. But I'm going to be changing up the colors. This one, I, um, I have a poppy parade background. This one is a pool party background. And if you notice, I also gold embossed the sentiment which says, I'm thinking of you. And I'm going to go ahead and use that same sentiment because I have lots of friends I've got to send cards to because I've been thinking of them. Okay, so let's just put these aside for right now. And the first thing I'm going to do is die cut the little rectangle that I need from this uh, acetate and designer series paper. And I think what I'm going to do is go up to this corner right here because I'm going to be matching it with Mossy Meadow. I think that's going to look really, really pretty. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and take this to the die cutting machine. And I know that I'll probably need a shim because I'm cutting through the acetate and I'm cutting through the designer series paper with my die cutting machine. I need a little bit of uh, help for it to you know smush down and cut this uh, this rectangle so I will be right back okay yep pretty much needed that shim so um, isn't that pretty I love the way it, this overlays and just gives it just the right amount of bling okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this through the die cutting machine and this is a piece of uh, mossy meadow that measures four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm going to be putting it through this beautiful embossing folder. And it's called the Painted Textures 3D Embossing Folder. Let me get that in there straight. And I'm going to go ahead and emboss this. And I will be right back. Here we are. Isn't that pretty? So I get to decide what side. I want to use for this um, for this project and that is going to be overlaid but before I do that I need to take a piece of a whisper white or I'm not whisper white basic white <laughs> basic white cardstock and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my adhesive sheets here this is a tip that I learned by watching Tina Zink she is a demonstrator in Canada I'm sure you probably have seen her she just oh, just gives you the best tips on doing these projects. So I'm taking some ad adhesive sheets and I'm just going to take this little piece of, of cardstock, which this cardstock measures, uh, it measures four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay, I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and cut this right here before I take the rest of the tape off of it. Flip that over and cut that. Okay. Yeah, and I want this to be a great big sticker. <laughs> but I'm going to be die cutting it. And the reason I didn't uh, uh, do this with it already die cut is because I want to make sure that that adhesive goes all the way to the edge. So let's take off the rest of this paper, the rest of the backer paper of the adhesive sheet. Okay, here we go. 
There's one. Very, very sticky stuff. Okay. I'm burnishing that down. And so now I'm going to take this to the die cutting machine with, oh, if I didn't mention what kind of rectangle I used. I'm using the rectangles from the rectangle stitch dies. And I used the smaller one. Let's see, you'll use, the see, not the big one, not the next one. This is the one I'm going to be using on the white. And then the next one down is what I use to cut out this piece right here. Okay, so let's put that over here. And I'm gonna take this now to the die cutting machine. And we're going to probably need a shim, but let me cut this out and I will be right back. Yes, it definitely did need that shim to cut it out because I'm cutting through the um, adhesive sheet and the cardstock. Okay, now it's time to take this and remove that uh, backer paper that's in the front here. Okay, we're removing the backer paper from this cardstock. Try to get in there. I have I have uh, gel nail polish on my nails, and kind of makes it a little difficult to get in there. Maybe a pair of tweezers or your take your pick tool. Okay, now I'm going to bring in my silicone craft sheet here because I don't want this to stick to my grid sheet. Now very carefully take your panel, okay, and what you're going to need to do is just make sure that it is in the center with even spacing all around. This is probably the hardest part of this whole project here, well for me anyway. I'm sure you're going to do well and then burnish that down you can you know turn this upside down and because you're using that silicone craft sheet nothing's going to stick to it okay now for the fun part i am going to be bringing out some of this gilded leafing this is gold leaf if you see it's clean it's sticking to everything in, in here and i pour just a few flakes in this little container here um, and believe me a little goes a long way and it, it doesn't even look like I've touched it it's it's compressed down there see look at that and just put a few more leaves in there and then close this up and it doesn't even look like I've used any so let's start leafing now I have this little brush here and you can pretty much use any brush you want to if you want to use a brush and you don't have to but I find this little brush is helpful it's a, a brush I've had for a while and um, it's very similar to this the new Stampin Up blending brushes that we we had I forgot where I got this from probably just from some place where they sell cosmetics but anyway, it's, it's helpful. So what I'm going to do is all that exposed adhesive, I'm going to be rubbing gold leaf on it. Yep, I'm just going to scoop it up and rub it right in. And this little brush helps me burnish all that gold leaf in. Isn't that pretty? I just absolutely love that effect. Okay, now let's put this in there and we are going to definitely cover this up because this stuff goes everywhere with the slightest bit of wind. Don't want to sneeze around this stuff, that's for sure. Okay, so now let's go ahead and adhere this to our embossed piece. And I'm going to be popping this up with Stampin' Dimensionals. Let me get my regular dimensionals here. Okay, I'm just going to oh, see that gold is everywhere. There's an idea. Put some gold leaf on your nail polish and then put clear polish over it. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to put one in the middle right there. Okay, and let's take these off. And we are going to try to center this the best we can with even spacing all the way around. Okay. 
one thing about that gold leaf, it does um, uh, this uh, acetate kind of creates static, and it wants to uh, it wants to cling to this acetate. So just keep brushing it, otherwise it's kind of like glitter. <laughs> You know, it comes off at the most inconvenient time. Okay, so we're going to be taking a, ca a, a card stock. And what I'm going to do is, um, I didn't have it prepared, so I am just going to take my trimmer. And this is, oh, I got the wrong, I got the wrong kind. I want the basic, I want the basic white. Yeah, it's really thick. This basic white cardstock is very thick. And I'm going to cut this down. Uh, this is an 8.5 by 11 sheet, but I'm cutting it down to 5.5 by 8.5. And, and then I'm going to score this at 4 and a quarter. Okay. And what I like to do is when I fold it, I kind of like to put it right here. I don't know if you can see that. Right here on the corner before I burnish it and just make sure that those uh, corners meet and everything is even on the top. Doesn't look like a, it's even enough. There we go. Now burnish it. Okay, we'll burnish it again with our bone folder. Let's get out the bone folder here. All right. And now I am just going to put some uh, multi-purpose adhesive glue on the back of this. You might have a hard time deciding what side of this embossed piece to use <laughs> because both sides kind of are very similar. Okay, we're going to leave like an eighth of an inch border all the way around that. Isn't that gorgeous? And I, don't, I didn't re really do a lot of decorating on these cards because this is the focal here. And that sentiment just, you know, pops out with the gold uh, embossing, which is what I'm going to be doing next. I'm going to take a piece of uh, Mossy Meadow and I'm going to continue using the same sentiment. And that sentiment comes from the Art Gallery stamp set. And I'm going to be using I'm Thinking of You again. But this isn't this really pretty. I absolutely love the flower that this makes. I just want to show you another card where I stamped and punched out the flower. It's a similar looking card. But this is, this is the first card I made with this stamp set. And I really, really like that flower. And I'll, I'll ho I hope I'll be using this a lot because I have a lot of cards to make. So... Uh, I'm thinking of you. I'm going to be taking out my Versamark uh, ink here, and I'm going to just ink this up. I am using Block H for this. I don't think you need a block this big, but that's the one I got out. And let's bring in our, if I could find it. Nope, I can't find it now. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I am bringing in my uh, pierce mat just because I need to give this just a little bit of cushion to make a really good impression because this is a photopolymer stamp and I'm just going to stamp it down to put on some of the Versamark ink. It's like a watermark. Okay, let me cover this up and I'm going to be using some gold embossing powder so let me bring out my sheet of paper that i should have folded here or i have and i fold it okay and i'm going to put this in there with some embossing powder kind of clumpy there one thing i didn't do with this is um i didn't use the boss embossing but the bossing buddy or whatever um this uh, Stampin' Up! doesn't sell this anymore, but it, it's really good to go ahead and wipe your um, your surface off so that you don't have a lot of static uh, things. You know, you're wiping the static off of the surface, basically, so you don't have a lot of foil or a lot of embossing powder stick where you don't want it to. Does that make any sense? Am I making sense today? 
I hope so. Okay, let's put this away and we're going to bring out our heat tool so that we could um, heat emboss this. Now, I'm going to make a little bit of noise here, so um, I'm going to try to fast forward this. There you have it. Now, let's die cut this piece. And we're going to be using this um, long tag. It's like a, a reverse scallop tag from the Floral Gallery dies. Let me just put this right here. Now I'm going to take a little piece of repositionable tape just so that it doesn't move around on me. And I'm taking this to the die cutting machine and I will be right back. Here it is. All right. Let's put this die back in here so I don't lose it. And we are going to pop this up with some small or the mini dimensionals. Okay, because the big dimensionals are a little bit too big for this. So I'm just going to use three on here. One on each side and one in the middle here. We're just going to place this right about a half an inch up right there. Isn't that pretty? Look at how pretty these look all together with that. I just absolutely love this. Oh my goodness. I might be making a whole bunch more. We'll see. <laughs> but um, I hope that I have taught you something today and I hope that you will try this. And I also hope to be your demonstrator if you don't already have one. All of the tools and supplies that I used in this video are going to be listed in the description. And if you um, would like to purchase any of them, please go to my website at www.geoamazingpapercrafts.stampinup.net. So once again, I'm Jeanette with Geoamazing Papercrafts, and you make it a great day. Bye-bye.